Hey, what's up? Dusk the Viking here, and I've got three tips for you that'll help you instantly improve at Monster and have more fun. The first one is your abilities are not as straightforward as you think. There's a lot of misconceptions in the game with ability use, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. The second one is use your cover correctly. You're a 600 pound monster not a less than 200 pound tiny teenager again we'll talk a little bit more about this later and last but not least losing a stigma is not a mistake this is definitely one of the things that leads to monster players being stressed out and feeling very frustrated again i'll explain more about this later First thing we're going to talk about is ability usage, which is loaded with misconceptions and new players get set off on the wrong track. I'm speaking from experience as a monster player who did just that. So let me start out with something basic. Uh, we'll do werewolf here as an example. A lot of werewolf players will howl and then berserk to chase. There are some situations where you probably do want to do it, but 90% of the time that's just the wrong thing to do. And if you've played Monster very much at all, you know that teens just kind of seem to get away from you even if you do that. Now, you might think you can berserk, get into position, then howl, and you're already moving fast so you don't have to wait to do the berserk, but that's still not always the right play. And that's kind of what I want to really reinforce here is these abilities do a lot more than you give them credit for. And that's what I really, really, really want to drive home with this first tip. You learn how to use your abilities. Berserk is mobility. Maybe this teen has a weapon and I run at him and he backs off to an advantageous position here. You know, and he's pre-firing his weapon and I just can't get in on the guy. So we we'll use our speed to reposition. And we might come back up here and bait him in case he tries to get away. If he breaks away, our speed will then allow us to maybe like come in and strand him somewhere where he can't get away, put him in a corner. And this is where Hal would come into play. We've got him in a corner. There's no escape route. There's no door here. Then we Hal. Now you don't even need Berserk, do you? Because he's trapped and there's nowhere he can go. All right, let's talk about a cover a little bit more in depth. This one's going to be a little bit more to the point. You're basically playing a 600 pound monster. Let's say this trash can is a teen or this, whatever this is right here, this basket of balls is a teen. Most monsters, they start getting shot at. They're like, oh no. And they try to run away behind cover, right? This is what you do. You're like, oh no. And you get behind cover. But you have to realize that I've still got about 300 pounds of junk in the trunk sticking out from behind this cover behind me. I'm not in cover. Now, some monsters may be like, ah, oh, this is stupid. They're shooting right through the cover. No, no, bro. There's like, there's like 600 pounds of monster behind this camera, right? It, it's sticking out here. You're not in cover right now. You'll see if you watch veteran monster players, when they get to cover, you'll see them spin and back around cover, right? Like they try and keep their camera forefront because there's not 600 pounds of monster in front of you. It's behind you. So even doing things like getting around this right here, like look at this, if I do this, yeah, there's like 400 pounds of monster sticking out, right? I'm easy. But if I, if I get here and I back around this and do this, I'm completely covered. So that's your tip for cover. Learn your cover, learn how big you really are, play around cover correctly. There's more cover in this game than you think there is. And that even has to do with how you move around the map. So don't, for example, run out in the open like that. If you have a little side alley that has, look at all this cover. You, you know, it takes you a little bit longer, but again, you're really fighting for positioning. You're trying to put the teens into a corner or putting them into a spot where you can checkmate them. You're not just trying to chase them down for a hit. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about not being afraid to use a stigma. When you first start the game, you have about... 60 seconds where you have free reign over the map and you can run around and hit teens and rah, rah, rah. but as soon as they get weapons you have to be careful because any weapon they craft could banish you post edit dusk here i got a little wordy so let me just get to the point on this don't be afraid to lose a stigma the more stigmas you lose the fewer tables that you have to patrol if you stay aggressive and keep your map pressure up 
it can make it harder for the teens to craft these weapons while keeping your snowball alive. Being that aggressive does mean that you will put yourself into a position where you might lose a stigma, but if you give up map control to the teens and let them free craft, that's going to guarantee you lose a stigma. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that helps you out. I hope this starts to make Monster more fun. Plus, they're also adding a few things in some of the future patches. The rework to the plague system, I think, is going to make Monster even more interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.